Hey boys and ghouls, Moon Girl here, and I came back to give you guys another collective reading. I so would appreciate you all following my uh, Instagram, Moon Girl Tarot and More. You can also follow me on my YouTube, same name, Moon Girl Tarot and More. I recently made a new Facebook like page because the other ones kept getting hacked. Uh, same name, Moon Girl Tarot and More, Facebook like page, and it has a picture of my face on there as a profile picture. And if you'd like to bless my channel, you can through, guess the name, Cash App, Moon Girl Tarot and More. I make it really easy for you guys. Anyways, uh, so y'all know the drill it is a collective I'm well I'm going down each sign so I guess but um it's a general reading so it may or may not resonate with you if it does awesome if it doesn't I'm sorry but you can always book a personalized reading so feel free to message me on here to book a personalized reading and I'm gonna start off again with uh the aquas uh the air signs so let me start off with Aquarius Aquarius, we have religious factors. So some of you definitely can be going through a spiritual awakening here. Some of you could be dabbling into spirituality. You can be, um, it's no surprise. Um, you could definitely be um, in the arts, um, learning about spirituality, the occult, whatever the case may be. Um, some of you, if you were, if you were connecting with somebody or you are, uh, you guys could have had a lot of differences here. Um cultural different cultural backgrounds you could have believed in different things um somebody here could have been ascending somebody here could have had a um, there could have been vibrating much higher than the other person someone could have been spiritual someone could have been religious whatever the case may be um but yeah i do feel like there was differences here i'm also picking up um heavy fire energy you can have in your chart they can have in your chart as well so again this is for aquarius let me see i'm going to clarify with a card <sighs> Please clarify a little bit of factors. Any cards? I kind of feel like you're dealing with someone who's very, very stubborn here. Um, we do have the Emperor here. It's clarified by the Emperor. So somebody could be dealing with an Aries. It doesn't have to be, but that's just what the card represents. Um, somebody could have been dealing with somebody who was very my way or the highway, very domineering. This can be a bit of a user as well. This could be somebody who kind of manipulates you, like takes what they want and then kind of like blows you off like later. Um, so, or they could be viewing you this way, okay? Let's move forward to the next air sign. We're going to go with Libra. Libra. What is it for Libra? What love messages for Libra? release your ex the time has come to clear your energy so some of you uh definitely are being guided to release an ex here and remember this can be vice versa energies guys if it's not you it's the person you're dealing with or someone in your surroundings let's clarify that with a tarot card clarify that please oh yeah some of you are definitely dealing with a fuck boy or fuck girl Someone who is definitely unreliable in and out of your life. Most of the time comes in for the passion because remember the wands do signify the male phallic or females whatever. Woohoo. Um, yeah, definitely an unbalanced connection here. Um, a lack of, you know, respiratory prosity like somebody was giving way more than the other person yeah i wasn't gonna take this other card but it flew out so i'll take it anyway somebody here definitely put in a lot of work in this connection the other person was like sabotaging it the whole time basically yeah you were dealing with somebody who just was not giving you what you deserved or they could be viewing you this way okay let's move forward to gemini let's see what is it that gemini needs to know about their love life what is that Gemini needs to know about their love life? What is that Gemini needs to know about their love life? Come on, spirit. Okay. Gemini, we have children here. So, with children, there could definitely be children involved in this connection. You can have children. They can have children. You can have children together. They could be a blended family. For some of you, this could even mean um, somebody wanting a fresh new beginning with you. You all could have, like, had pets as well. Let's clarify that.
Ah, okay, so what I'm getting here is Gemini, there might be somebody here who maybe wanted to reconnect with you, start a new beginning with you, because there was a lot of regret in how this connection transpired between you guys. Okay, um, so yeah, somebody here can have a lot, a lot of regret over what they lost. You guys could have had a family dynamic here, because there is children. Um, yeah, looking back, lots of disappointment, lots of sorrow. Um, water represents lots of tears, emotion here, okay? For some of you, strongly I'm getting there could have been the loss of a child. Somebody could have had a miscarriage, abortion, or just lost somebody. My condolences, okay? And that is for Gemini. I'm also feeling like somebody here had a hard time conceiving, okay? Let's move forward for, let's go with the fire signs. Let's go with Leo. What is it that Leo needs to know about their love life? What is it that Leo needs to know about their love life? What is it that Leo needs to know? Leo, we have forgiving and learning. Okay, so you're definitely being guided from the 5D, from people who've passed on to the other side, friends, relatives, ancestors, you know, your spirit guides, guardian angels, deities, to take whatever you've learned from this connection. Hey! And move forward, okay? So that's for Leo. Let's clarify that. Leo, I'm also picking up a sense of deception here. Clarify, Leo. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we have a tower. So there could have been a tower moment here with Leo. So basically, she could have hit the fan here. There could have been an abrupt breakup. You could have found something out rather quickly. That caused definitely confusion, an argument, dispute here with you, Leo. Um, but yeah, I'm also feeling like, again, like I said, this is emphasizing somebody from the 5D that's passed on the other side. Heavy feminine energy here. I feel like they're definitely watching you and guiding you from the 5D, okay? Um, so yeah, that's what I have for Leo. Let's move forward to the next fire sign. Let's go with the Saggies. Again, happy Sag season. What do we have for Sagittarius? Oi. Sag. You got a bunch of cards. I'm trying to get one for you, Sagittarius. One card for Sagittarius, please. One card for Sagittarius. One card for Sagittarius. Oh, this one wanted to come out. We have unrequired love here, Sagittarius. Okay, let's see what this is about. There may not be enough attraction or chemistry to keep this connection going. So some of you might be connecting with somebody and maybe if there's not enough chemistry there. It doesn't have to be aesthetically, guys, so I don't want you to feel bad, but maybe, you know, there's not enough physical attraction. This could just be there's just too many differences, okay? But let's clarify with the tarot. Yeah, someone here in this connection is definitely not happy. And I feel like it might be you, Sagittarius, because of this fire here. But remember, it can be vice versa energies. I'm getting guided to take another card because I am nosy. I want to know why the hell are you not happy? Because this person's not returning your affection, your love. I feel like somebody here definitely likes somebody more than the other person does. Let me see. What is that? Okay. Uh, someone here wants to have success with you or you want to have success with them, but it's not happening because I feel like somebody here gets a lot of attention. This could be you, Sag. It doesn't have to be. It could be the other person. But here, somebody here gets too much attention from other people. So you could be dealing with somebody who's, you know, a bit of a hoe. Uh, just saying, don't shoot the messenger. Uh, <laughs> let's move forward to Aries. Speaking of hoes, just kidding. I kid, I kid, I kid. Um, hey, Aries. Shout out to my fiery, sexy Aries. You guys are sexy. God damn it. You are. <laughs> I love my fire signs, okay, and uh, my air signs, but let's move forward to Aries. Aries, chemistry. All right. We got chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. Let's clarify that with a tarot. What do we have? Please clarify a chemistry for Aries. Oh, shit. Aries. Somebody hot and heavy is coming here for you. Definitely some sort of love offer coming towards you. You might be meeting somebody new here, and you definitely have some strong chemistry. And I feel like, uh, yeah, 
you're both kind of liking each other. There could be flirty messages here for sure. Uh, you guys can be spending time in nature as well. Uh, you could really like nature here, but someone here really likes you a lot. Definitely new beginning here, guys, with this new person. Uh, this could be somebody new, if not fairly new as well. I feel like this connection is going to make you rather happy. There's heavy fertility energy here. So, guys, you know the drill. If you do not want a baby, wrap that chorizo up. You know this, okay? Just saying. Uh, but this is good. Good for you, Aries. Let's move forward to... Um the Earth signs. Let's go with Capricorn. What is it that Capricorn needs to know about their love life? What is it that Capricorn needs to know about their love life? What is it that Capricorn needs to know about their love life? Let's see. I'm getting to know each other and it's in reverse. Interesting. Hmm. I kind of feel like some of you were trying to get to know somebody and it didn't quite work out. This also could be that you were already talking to somebody and maybe you learn things from them or maybe they change and you're kind of like, wow, I don't even know who you are. Who are you? But let's clarify that with a tarot. Clarify that. Yeah, okay, so I feel like, you know, there might be a decision here you're going to have to make here, whether to continue this connection with somebody or not, to be honest. I feel like there might have been some kind of news or something you found out about this person, and it's questioning whether you really know them or not, or um, I feel like you're seeing this person with a different set of eyes, like you were opened or awakened to something. You could have seen something, heard something about this person, and it's questioning whether you want to be in this connection or not. You could also feel like, um, uh, you feel like there's something off here. Some of you could definitely be at a distance from this person, if not geographically, emotionally. I feel like there's something, like there is uh, spaces between you guys, possibly because of whatever you learned here about this person. Let's move forward to Virgo. What is it that Virgo needs to know? This could be the one in reverse. So Virgo, you could have been connecting with somebody. You could have really thought that this was going to be someone you were going to deal with for quite a while. However, I do not see that happening. Uh, let's see what we have with the tarot. Let's clarify that with tarot. <clears throat> yeah, we have the moon here. And it's in reverse, so you guys could have been connecting. doesn't have to be with a water sign. Scorpio, Pisces, um, Cancer. Yeah, there was secrets here. There was deception here. I feel like intuitively you already felt that there was something off in this connection. Okay, um... Yeah, someone here is very confused about this connection. Like, you still feel very drawn to this person or vice versa, but you know that intuitively it's not going to work out. Okay, let's move forward to Taurus. What messages do we have for Taurus? What messages do we have for Taurus? Engagement. Okay, I want to clarify that, that first before I even say anything because I'm getting a really weird feeling about this one, Taurus. Clarify. Please clarify. Engagement for Taurus. Ah, too many cards, guys. Too many cards, spirit. One card. I set one card. Okay, Taurus. So I feel like you could have been in a committed relationship. Um, there could have been a breakup of some kind or discord. And I feel like this person is going to come towards you again or vice versa. Okay. Um, I feel like you still care about this person or they still care about you because this can be vice versa energies. But I feel like some of you could have had like a, uh, either you were married or you were in a strong commitment, common law here. There could have been a breakup of some kind or some kind of pause. And someone here is wanting to return. Okay. So that's for Taurus. Let's move forward to the water signs. Okay. Water signs. Let's go with Cancer. Cancer, we have attraction here. Uh, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So you could be finding somebody very attractive or they could be finding you very attractive. And again, if it's not physically, it's just something about them that you're really drawn to or vice versa, okay? Some of you off the bat could be dealing with a water sign. Oh, we have the two of cups here. Speaking of water signs, 
there you go. Um, yeah. Okay, so this could be somebody you're finding very attractive or they're finding you very attractive. And the Two of Cups, I'm picking up that this could be either a secret admirer. This could be somebody that is a friend of yours, okay, um, or vice versa. You could be finding this person attractive. Um, you could have a secret crush on them. They could have a secret crush on you. I feel like they're watching you. And I feel like maybe you guys start off as friends and it's blossoming into something more or has blossomed into something more. So I do see somebody coming in here for you or you coming in for them, whatever the case may be. But that's pretty good, Cancer. Good for you. Let's move forward to Scorpio. 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 What love messages do we have for Scorpio? We got too many, Scorpio. Let me, one for Scorpio, please. One for Scorpio. Which one's that one? We have playfulness to recapture romance. Allow your inner youth spirit of fun to shine. Okay, so spirit's probably guiding you to be a little bit more flirty and playfulness with somebody you're connecting with. Okay, this could be somebody wanting to come in and be playful with you or vice versa. Some of you may not be talking to somebody right now or there's little to no communication. Let's see, clarify that. We do have the strength card and yes, a strength card can represent can represent having strength, you know, like this person could be holding themselves back from like telling you how they really feel about you. But also remember guys, the strength card also represents the lust card. So somebody could find you very attractive and is very like, you know, wants to come in and play with you and be very flirty and stuff like that. And they're like trying to, they're kind of holding back here. Maybe they're scared. Uh, but yeah, someone here thinks you're hot shit. Of course, you're Scorpio, right? Uh, so there you go. Um, <laughs> let's move forward to my other water sign, my Pisces. Let's see what we have for Pisces. Spirit, give me a message for Pisces. Ooh, I'm sorry, Pisces. <laughs> we have separation here. So um, you could have recently separated from somebody or um, there will be a separation here. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay, Scorpio. Uh, I mean, sorry, Pisces. Yeah, five of pentacles. Somebody could have definitely ghosted you, left you out in the cold, feeling like shit, basically broke your heart. Somebody could have even stole something from you, I feel, or you either felt like you were cheated on or cheated out of something. For some of you, somebody could have like used you for your finances, for your money or what you could do for them. Okay, Pisces, I'm so sorry, Pisces, but that's what I have for you. Okay, lots of love and healing vibes your way, Pisces. I'm sorry. Um, uh, what other sign are we missing? Anybody else? Um, was it? Did we do everybody? We did air. We did fire. We did. Did we do everybody? I think we did, right? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes, we did all the um, Zodiacs. Let's do a collective really quick, okay, guys? See if you guys get anything from this collective reading. Spirit, please tell me what the collective needs to know about their love life. Please let me know what the spirit wants to, you to know about their love life. Let's see. Okay, make an effort. So somebody here may not be making an effort in this connection, uh, but someone definitely has romantic feelings here. I feel like somebody here is holding back um, how they truly feel about you or vice versa. Let me move these out of the way. I hope you guys can see these. Uh, maybe not. Okay, let's see. What else? Deception here. So somebody here could be lying about something, keeping somebody in the dark about a certain situation. Let your friends help you. To be honest, I'm kind of feeling like there's somebody here who's a bit of a hater, whether it be on their end or your end. Somebody here could be purposely giving somebody bad advice about y'all's connection. Yeah, somebody here could be um, keeping to themselves. There could be little to no communication with somebody here. Yeah, somebody here might want to give this connection a chance. The other person does not want to. Yeah, uh, let's clarify some stuff with tarot. Let's see. Tell me about this. Some of you could be dealing with Sagittarius or having your chart. I feel like somebody here is just like running out of patience with this person. Like, I'm done. I'm done here. You're, they're taking too long, basically. What else? 
Yeah. And you're like, come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Are we going to do this or not? That's basically what I'm getting here for some of you. Let's see what else. Somebody here is feeling very defensive in this connection with the seven of wands. Why? Why are you feeling defensive? What did this person do to you? Were they being a bit of a fuck boy or fuck girl? Possibly, right? Yeah, you feel defensive here because, you know, somebody here wasn't making you happy. There could be a Leo of significance. They can have in your chart. You can have in your chart. What else? Yes, there could be a Capricorn of significance as well with the devil. This connection could have been very toxic. This is why you're feeling very defensive towards this person. Uh, there could have been... Um, any type of codependency, over relying on somebody either financially, physically, um, you know, emotionally. This person may be, I feel like a very obsessive energy here. Somebody could have been um, overindulging in alcohol, substance abuse, sex, um, you know, anything like that. For some of you, I'm picking up, you really don't want to do this with this person anymore. But I feel like this person is very obsessed with you or vice versa. You could be very obsessed with this person in this connection. Yeah, that's why they want to come back in with judgment. But you will be the judge and jury of this connection, okay? Uh, it's going to be up to you if you accept this or not. Yeah, somebody here wants to work on this connection with you. Um... They're being guided to come back towards you with the high priestess, so there could also be a Pisces of significance here. But remember, guys, Pisces also turns into the mistress. So this person could have definitely been talking to somebody else, or this could be you, whatever. Yeah, they want a new beginning here with you with the Fool card. You could definitely be getting messages from this person. Again, there could be um, they could be at a distance from you, either geographically or emotionally. Um, they want to travel towards you. Yeah. Because there was an ending in this connection. Yeah, with the Hierophant. Yeah, you guys could have definitely been in some sort of commitment here. But this commitment made you feel unhappy, this connection. You still think about this person or, you, or they still think about you. But you think of the bad times, the bad memories, which is a big turn off for you when you start thinking about them. Um, this person could have just come in for the passion because the Ace of Wands here. They want a fresh, new, um, passionate beginning with you. Remember the Ace is of wands the wands signify the male value or the woman's woohoo so this person could have just been all about the passion all about the sex they definitely find you very attractive they definitely miss having sex with you um but yeah they want to stir things back up here with you thus them coming right back in you could be dealing with an earth sign um capricorn taurus virgo uh, of course this is more taurus here but yeah they want to find stability here with you now what else Woo! They could have definitely been very immature here. Either you or them. Take it how it resonates. There could be an age difference. It doesn't have to be big. This person is definitely doing their homework on your ass. So either you're spying on them or they're spying on you. They could be going through your uh, social media with fake profiles, asking people about you, whatever. But yeah, there you go. Yeah, because it was an ending in this connection. But boy, do they want to reach out and send you a message. But you're guarding your heart here. You're like, fuck that noise. I don't know. I don't think I can trust you anymore. Okay. Um, you can be very confused about this person or this connection. The moon is there. There could also have been secrets, deception. Um, this connection made you feel very emotional. There's water there as well. Just somebody here could have chosen, had to choose between two people or more. Let me see. Yeah, this person's a fucking liar. Straight up liar. Somebody who would manipulate you, play with your feelings, a bit of a trickster, okay? Or they're viewing you this way. Thus, this ending to this connection. Again, um, Gemini energy. So some of you can have it in your chart. They can have it in your chart. Uh, basically making a, ch a choice between either staying in this connection or not or choosing between other people, okay? So I did feel that kind of third-party energy earlier, and it just totally tells me yes here. Yeah, this connection felt you, made you feel very emotionally, very emotional, I'm sorry, very, um, give you a lot of anxiety, worry, stress. Left you feeling very defeated and hurt. But I feel like in the end, you're still going to win here. You're definitely walking away from this connection because there was no success here in this connection. Somebody here thought that this was going to be like the love of their lives, perhaps, because this is the 11-11 card, twin flame energy, soulmate energy here. But it wasn't. And I'm sorry for that, guys. Yeah. Um, someone's going to choose not to invest in this connection anymore. 
Why? Because there's unhappiness here, lack of celebration. And yeah, I feel third party energy even more. Whatever they offered was just bullshit. And they would come at you as a page. They didn't have the decency to even come at you as a knight. Sneaky ass behavior. Somebody was sneaking away, doing God knows what with God knows who. Okay? Some of you definitely were being used. Yeah. You could have had some choice words with this person or vice versa. They could have had some choice words with you. Basically cutting this person off, telling them off. Somebody here was pissed the fuck off. Okay? Yeah. Because they were um, just playing with you, basically. This is someone who's unreliable, someone you can't trust with your heart or your emotions. This is somebody who talks a big game but never delivers. And some of you are definitely healing from this connection with the star. There could be an Aquarius of significance as well. Yeah, so thus now you're single. But they want to come in here and uh, work on this connection with you. Because they're seeing you being single, very attractive, very abundant, getting your shit together. Wanting to put those um, uh, burdens down and move forward with you. Because there was an ending to this connection. This new beginning here. Yeah, they're still holding on to you or you're still holding on to them. Okay, energetically, um, emotionally. They're holding on to you like you're the last two dollars. Okay, also I feel like this person could have definitely used you for something. Your finances perhaps. Yeah, somebody here felt very bound and stuck to this connection. I feel like this person wanted to clip your wings or very, was very domineering towards you or vice versa. Somebody here could be very much in their head. Yeah, there could have been a lot of um, arguments and disputes in this connection. Also, there could have definitely been competition here. You know, other people here. Thus is ending. Yeah, and they broke your heart. They broke your heart. Those bastards, how dare they? Yeah, they broke your heart here. I'm sorry. Yeah, basically unrequired love. Four of Cups here. This is somebody who, you know, you're offering your heart to this person on a silver platter, silver platter, and they were basically like waiting to see if something better would come along. The classic, the grass is always greener on the other side, you know, but remember the grass isn't always greener on the other side. All that glitters is in gold. It's just a motherfucking Snapchat filter, guys. Yeah, somebody here had a lot of options. They would come in offering you this cup of love, but they always had a damn freaking uh, catch to it. There could have been little to no communication with this person. You could have been holding back. They could have been holding back. Somebody could have been trying to heal. Somebody here is ready to talk. You could view this person as a traitor with the hangman Pisces energy here. Yeah, there was no more growth in this connection. Let me give you some messages really, really quick before I let you go. Let me see. This could be what the person wants you to know or what you want them to know. Okay, yeah. I want you back. So you could possibly want this person back or they could want you back. Yeah, someone here is definitely hurting about this connection. Spirits guiding you to let this go for your higher self, for your higher good. Please don't leave me. Somebody here doesn't want you to let them go. I can't believe you're actually gone. Maybe this person did this to you so many times and you always took them back. And this time you're trying to like, you know, draw the, la the line in the sand and just move forward. I still care. You can still be caring about this person. Other women or other men could have been involved in this connection. Somebody here feels lonely or alone without you or vice versa. Looking at your photos. So you could still be looking at this person's photos. They could still be looking at yours new love for some of you somebody new came in either for them or for you and it messed up this connection for others i do feel new love will be coming in for you yeah the past creeps up on you so somebody from the past or situation from the past could have intervened in this connection and this is what i have for you guys i hope this reading was at least of some help if it was please make sure to give it a thumbs up share it like it uh please head to my um youtube same name moon girl tarot and more please subscribe to that i so would appreciate it please follow me here on instagram i so would appreciate you guys liking it you can also follow me on my sister instagram moon girl horror not horror, horror, close enough. Um, I just recently made a new Facebook like page because the other one got hacked. Same name, Moon Girl Taryn Moore. Profile picture is my face. And if you'd like to bless my channel, you can through Cash App, Moon Girl Taryn Moore. And as always, stay magical. Bye, guys.